the pivot here is energy transition is not the is not the past yes it's the future it's the new things that are going to be required and whether that's carbon capture utilization and storage or hydrogen or decarbonization of the electricity grid or the circular plastics economy these are not topics that even five years ago were on the top of anyone's radar screen yes, right? yes. they are now Sir, I want to. I would. Uh, I would love to understand the work that you're doing at the University of Houston, mm -hmm. as part of the Energy Sustainability and Carbon Management Program. What is that program about, and uh, what is the the things that you're really focused on at there? Yeah, well, th thanks for asking. I I uh, I'd like to take a moment, maybe, and set the table for why we even have a program like that at the University yes. of Houston. Yes. And, and the genesis of it all. Um, several years ago, uh, the, the University of Houston is, is blessed to have an energy advisory board yes. made up of some 30 different companies, uh, many of them significant players, the usual suspects in the oil and gas industry and, and petrochemicals and electric power, et cetera. Uh, strong footprint here in the Houston community. Uh, and they're very involved with our students and with our with our faculty and, and yes. have been for many, many years, a big part of the University of Houston's connectivity to the marketplace. And they actually came to the university about four years ago and said, we have this energy transition coming. Yes, we feel it coming. We, we know we will have to participate in it. It's a, it's a fact. It's not something to dodge, but it's to embrace yeah. it. And what we'd like to have at the university is, a, a, is a, an enterprise or, a, or a, a place where all of the multidisciplined capabilities will, will be present. Yes. That, that yes. you can... In, in, this, in this organization, you can access science, technology, engineering, law, policy, yes. business, yes. all of the multidimensional tasks and functions that are necessary for solutions going forward in the marketplace. Because there was a belief that the energy transition was going to require all of those skills. Yes. And that typically in a university setup, it's not that easy to find collaborative teams already in place, ready to work on things. Yes. You need some sort of a centering point. Yes. And so the university created a center for carbon management, which was yes. on everybody's list. Yes. So what we do in that center is uh, from an internal standpoint, we work to bring programs together where those multi-dimension functions and capabilities reside and can work together, yes. form teams, uh, create opportunities where they can work together and bring the full power of that. But also the organization, our center, focuses very directly on the external world bringing in those challenges that the marketplace has yes so that we're not taking faculties great ideas that need to be connected with marketplace challenges yes we need to make sure that connects yes. you don't want to be inventing things yes you don't aren't get relevant, it. right yes. Yes. And, and we want the, the marketplace to understand how important it is for universities to be able to contribute to that early stage development uh, and research necessary, and whether it's technical or engineering, or even researching market conditions or policy issues or, or legal issues, et cetera. All of this in the marketplace is changing. Yes. And the skills and the capability, not only of students for the future, but also the workforce development of those people in those existing companies to be able to tap into the university and have that connectivity so that things can be more effective that way. Yes. 
So I suspect when you when you mention multiple uh, disciplines, it's various different colleges at U of H coming together. So you have the College of Technology or Engineering, uh, you know, all these different colleges coming together. But is the is that Carbon Management Institute Energy Sustainability then going out and working? As you said, there has to be uh, the connection with the marketplace, the challenges that are there in the marketplace. Is the Institute going out and doing projects for companies and helping advise uh, in actual uh, carbon management uh, projects? Well, well, that is the ultimate outcome that we that we strive for. Absolutely, okay. Okay. companies come in with situations. Uh, they they want to understand what we're working on. What yeah. are the kinds of transformational changes and 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 technologies that we're bringing to the marketplace? Yes, in the circumstances, etc. And so then, how can companies then provide that marketplace pull for? pilot scale yes demonstration facilities things of that nature where things can be tested not simply in the laboratory the university yes but to be begin to get that industrial strength attention yes. necessary for commercialization so do you already have success stories uh, accomplished i mean uh, or is that in the works right now well i, I think I can say with confidence, even before I came to the University of Houston, and that was three years ago, yes. that the university has a long history of working very closely with the energy industry yes. in a lot of different areas, yes. uh, oil and gas development, uh, engine development, compression development, things of that nature, where commercialized products ultimately resulted from a lot of this collaborative work. The pivot here is energy transition is not the is not the past yes it's the future it's the new things that are going to be required and whether that's carbon capture utilization and storage or hydrogen or decarbonization of the electricity grid or the circular plastics economy these are not topics that even five years ago were on the top of anyone's radar screen yes, right? yes. they are now Right. And so where does that then now take where the industries and the marketplace wish to go? What challenges do they want to put in front of the faculty and the programs? And so we yes. fund projects, we fund things, pulling them together. We create dynamics for those demonstrations. And that's what we've been doing for the past couple of years. In the in the last three years that you have been there involved with the program, uh, what would jump to the top of your mind as the biggest progress or success that was achieved? Well, I wouldn't pick one thing, but I'll, I'll give you some examples of some yes. things that have happened. Okay, we we have had a number of really enthused participants from the external world looking at policy as an example. Okay. So our policy department, as well as our legal folks, working on frameworks around business opportunities to commercialize carbon capture, utilization, and storage. Okay. 45Q and the policies that are going along with that, governmental support, yes. the issues associated with the state and the interstate connectivity of transport systems poor space ownership, all the kinds of things associated with, with, with carbon dioxide now in the marketplace, yes. looking yes. to actually make that happen. Mm -hmm.